Hello everybody, welcome back to the back post, and yeah, it's it's done. My god, it's done. It's been ages. Havertz is a Chelsea player. Oh, it felt like so long, hasn't it? You know, we've been linked with him for ages. There's been all this talk of Chelsea Leverkusen for ages, but it's official now. Chelsea have announced it. He's a blue. I'm excited. But before I get into the video, make sure you like this video hit subscribe you know we really appreciate it over here we're a pretty small channel we appreciate any kind of viewership we get uh and comment below comment below see what you what you'll think about this deal but yeah should i get into the video yeah Avertz is a chelsea player at about a hundred million euros uh it's reported that it's going to be about 90 mil up front with about 10 add-ons something around that anyway you know leverkusen and chelsea have been back and forth for a while leverkusen really stuck with their guns with this one I think, you know, they kind of offered 100 or 90 and then we were like, nah, 70. And they were like, nah, 90. And then they were like, yeah, 80, nah, 90. Like, they, they stuck with their guns. And, you know, fair play. Like, Havertz is a generational talent. We all know this. Uh, so, they yeah, they just kind of stuck with it. And fair play to him. But now he's our record signing. And he's he's going to be our, you know, star boy for the next couple of years. And that's so exciting. And, yeah it's a lot of money it really is let's face it, this the hazard money we've, we're getting in a young hazard let's think about it like that it's the hazard money it's the Morata money it's the david louise money anyway we don't need to talk about money because let's talk about skills right he is a phenomenal player i watched this thing earlier and i highly recommend anyone watch it i retweeted it on on at j tomlin's tmns uh cheeky little plug <laughs> yeah no so it was about how he uses space and and makes his runs and the way he, like he, he'll just see an open gap and it that's it he's in there then and then the players behind him are just feeding him but then when he's not attacking like him in a, in a cam roll and the way he pulls players around him and finds the gaps and and breaks through the lines and it's really incredible to see and it's really incredible to see like the analysis of it and yeah, so like it's it's inevitable we're bringing in a class player here. So many people have endorsed him. Michael Balak of all people said this guy is brilliant, and I think it's one of those like yeah, he's a lot of money, but I think with Frank and and Chelsea have seen this as like we can't not go for him at this point. You know, he kind of wants to come here, especially with what we've done so far in the transfer window, and we just got to go for it really <laughs> like it, like just figure out where he's going to come in later because he's class he's like 21 he's fucking younger than me and he's going to be about uh, worth 100 mil how mad is that <laughs> anyway i you know like let's let's take a look at his stats shall we for last season so he played 44 games across four competitions got 17 goals and nine assists and that's better than any one of our players. I think the only person close is either William or Tammy right and that both of those players had good seasons Ain't got nothing on this lad this season. You know what I mean? That's it. That's incredible. That's 17 goals and nine nine assists. That's, you know, perfect. That we're bringing in attacking threat and someone really attack-minded. And you know what? <laughs> to gas myself up, let me look at some of the other stats of the boys. So, Werner coming in, 45 games. So, just one more than uh, Havertz. 34 goals and 13 assists. <laughs> this is mad right uh, Ziek, uh way less games 35 games across a, more competitions in fact 8 goals 21 assists oh, 21 assists is, is a magician we all know it Like we saw it against that pre-season against Bright, uh, Brighton whenever he got the ball he was looking up he wanted a whip, beautiful ball and he did for Callum Hudson and Doy he fluffed the header and Werner got the goal anyway that's exciting uh, I mean even let's look at Pulisic 34 games, you know, he's injured for a lot of the season, 11 goals, 10 assists, the contribution he had to our team last season. And even Mason Mount, eight goals, six assists. And like, I thought he had a good season, and he did, don't get me wrong, but like the amount of numbers that are in this team now, so with the two boys, Mason and Pulisic already in, and now the three attacking players we brought in this season, Werner, Ziyech and now Havertz, that's incredible, incredible numbers. Our attack's gonna be deadly next season. It really is. It's gonna it's gonna be one of the best in the world if it all starts to click together. I feel like it will. Ziek, you know, he's a really he's a magician with the ball. We've already seen the link up with uh, Werner. Werner and Havertz have played together at youth level for, with Germany. They know they can link up. Pulisic is fitting really nicely. And not only did he go from America to the Bundesliga. Now he's coming into this you know league and fitted in nicely. Like he can fit in nicely. Mason behind them. 
oh, it, it's 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 gas worthy stuff to say the least. Uh, let, I want to talk about quickly what about how I think we should line up next season with now Havertz being in. So I want Kepa at the back. It's reported that Kepa's staying. He's going to fight for his place. I think we couldn't really get a goalkeeper in. He's still, you know, he's still one. He's the most expensive goalkeeper in the world. He had a good first season, shit second season. What can he do in the third? That's what I guess what's happening now. Uh, Chilwell, left back, brilliant, brilliant signing. I've already mentioned that in a different video. Uh, again, Silver as well. Fucking Thiago, so this, this line looks mad. Uh, I think then, I don't know if this is controversial or not, but Aspie in the middle, right? He's right centre back, right? Playing them against Silva. He's got, he's, he's, he's a fucking class to, uh, defender, he really is. But I think it's stupid not to utilise James's ability. Reese James is a class right back. He really is. He's got that, he's got that, that Robertson about him. He's really good. And I think it'd be silly not to utilise that. So having him out on the right, bumming up and down, I think that's just, that's just smart and play Asby in the middle because I still think As Asby deserves to play. Also, he's our captain, and I think that would be two strong defensive, defensive uh, centre backs. Also, Asby can push up a bit if we need so, and Silva can stay back. And then we've got the two dangerous wing backs or left backs and right backs. So that back line, I think that shows everything up. And then obviously you've got like the likes of Zuma, and. Christiansen and Tomori to come into that, and if we play it free at the back, like if we change the system. As we can still play the right of a three, so that's that's I think that's the most controversial thing on there. And then CDM obviously Kante. The talk of Kante leaving is ridiculous. And if you're a Chelsea fan and you want him to go, you're an idiot. <laughs> I just think Kante is one of the best. He is the best CDM in the world. It, it get the preseason game against Brighton. He kind of come back into his own and played well again. And you know we, he's been missing this season. We know that, but that's not any excuse to get rid of him we strengthen anyone else if we get rid of him and we place him cdm again that just shores up the defense which is our, big, our biggest problem uh then i then oh, then i just want to see mount and havertz together playing in like uh, two cm roles in front of kante like that would be incredible like you know and both havertz and mount are very young they've got a lot of work rate so they can drop back when needed like you've seen mount this season with the pressure he can put on teams and then you got pulisic ziek and Werner. Come on, come on. This is an unreal team. And not only is it an unreal team, it's an unreal depth because that's our first 11. We've got Giroud, Tammy, Ruben, Callum Hudson, Adoy. You've got Kovacic. Kovacic had an incredible season and it's actually quite peak leaving him out of this starting 11. Like him and Mount could be interchangeable. You know, I mean, this, this season coming up, we're going to be playing like every three days almost. Weekend, midweek, weekend, midweek. We're going to need this depth, you know what I mean? So I don't think any player is not going to have that many games. I think, you know, the likes of Tammy, the likes of Kovacic, they're going to get game time. I think this is our strongest eleven. Then we've got the backup feet depth. And we all know winning competitions is about depth in squad. That's City taught us that and we need that. And we actually have that now. Well, I mean, we had that anyway. We have a good depth, but we have that in abundance now, bringing in these, these class players. I guess my only last thing as well is that we need to sell players now. We've got a lot of dead wood at the club. A lot of players need to go. I think a lot of players are like already mentally gone, but we actually need to sell them now because you know we we'll get the season's two weeks away, <laughs> and obviously there's internationals in between then. So I think we need to start getting some deals over over the line. I think you know the likes of Everson, Batshuayi, Barkley. Unfortunately, need to go. Barkley's been a great player for Chelsea, but I think it's his time to go. Get him gone. Give Mason Mount the number eight. We'll be good. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. I think I'm done with this video. I'm absolutely gassed, as you can tell. Uh, yes, I've just woke up. If you can hear that in my voice and see it in my face. But I had to make this video because it's just brilliant. And yeah, I'm buzzing. <laughs> Let us know what you think in the comments. Are you happy with the signing? If you're not, why? Because that's weird. <laughs> yeah, and, and just make sure you like the video like i said subscribe to us we really appreciate it we're bringing all the transfer news across three different clubs we're also you know the season's starting up again the podcast will be back loads of content coming your way from the channel here so make sure you subscribe and you know what tell your dad cheers